Warriors. I greet you all with love and light of the Most High God, the Infinite Creator, source of all things, source within. I thank you for checking your sister out. I wasn't planning on doing a video. Um, the main reason that I'm doing this video is because I had a, um, let me just say, uh, an experience last night. And I just wanted to share it with my brothers and sisters, those who are spiritual, like-minded, like myself, okay, who can relate to your sister. You know, maybe not this topic, but you can relate to something because many of you have your own experiences. Well, anyway, real quick, let me get to the point, family. Um, many of you know I'm always I'm always talking about um, watching your energy. You know, protect your energy. You know, your or your energy uh, field. All right, because I'm going to tell you why. Because all right, uh, let me just say this: when, when we are not protecting our or energy field, um, you know, it's easy for lower negative. Um, entities, uh, beings, um, to, uh, attack us, shall I say. It's sort of like a, it's sort of like a vampire attack, energy vampire attack, but you're dealing with, uh, beings, you're dealing with, um, even, uh, non, non benevolent ETs, all right, such as like grays and other ETs that are considered, um, non-benevolent they are also operating on the lower uh, dimension shall i say now me bringing this up i had experience um last night okay now many of you know let me just say this real quick okay because i want to just get this out there because i know many of you gonna be like well sister you talking about rocking this or rocking that to protect our energy field let me just say this and i stand by it these devices all right this, such as this black tourmaline um, stone, as well as things like um, magnets, um, shanghai, you know, um, beads, um, and there are other, you know, um, even certain crystals. You know, there are God-given, um, shall I say, um, tools, all right, that you can use to protect you, okay, to protect why, even your sister, but sometimes we can still allow certain things uh, to attack us when we give it permission to, when we let it in, and we lower our uh, vibrational frequency, okay, and it's a prime example, okay, this is a prime example, and when we do that, these devices... <laughs> I, I found this out for myself. These devices ain't helping you, let me just say. I mean, when, when you operate on a high vibrational frequency, these devices does help, you know, as a backup. But when you let something in due to your doing, all right, uh, yeah. So let me go ahead and just get to the point. And I apologize for dragging, but I just want to give you a little background on um, how we need to protect, you know, our thought process, especially if you're somebody that's real sensitive, all right? and you get where your sister is coming from, um, protect your thought process. Protect your thoughts. It's very important, family. Protect your thoughts, all right? Uh, because your, your, our thoughts are energy. Even our words are energy. And all of this affects us. You know, it shapes our reality. That's the only reason I'm bringing this up. So anyway, last night, I was asleep. And in the midst of me being asleep, I was still conscious enough. I started hearing this noise, and it sounded like footprints, as though because I live in an apartment, like on the second floor, and on a, it sounded like children running around above me. You know, in an apartment above me, and actually, it's, it's like an older woman and her two older kids. You know, they're like what in their early twenties. And so I'm like, unless they got company, you know, I'm, I'm asleep, but I'm hearing this noise. I'm hearing these little padded fo uh, foot running around. Cause my daughter's six years old. It's something that she would do. But I woke up. I look at the clock. The clock said 3.36. And I'm like, hmm. And I sat there. And, you know, I was like, I said, no, I said, it can't be them unless they got company, you know, unless they got company. And why would they have their company? You know, so I'm all in my feelings. Why would they have company, you know, having their kids be running around at time of the night? It's so disrespectful, so rude, you know. And um, 
Cause sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I get your sister. Sometimes I get a little cranky when I, I'm awoken uh, due to noise. Uh, I get ir I get irritable. You know, I like it quiet. You know, in my household, quiet time is nine o'clock. Ain't no run, no plan, no nothing. We shut it down. This household at nine o'clock. Okay, nine p.m. We shut it down. Cause I like to respect my neighbors. You know, that's just me. You know, my neighbors. She has kids, but they're on the first floor. But I still respect my neighbors. You know, and people don't want to be hearing that, that noise all the time tonight. You know, but anyway. And um, so I'm thinking to myself, darn, why do you make all that noise? It's so disrespectful. You know, and it's like I went from one to ten. You know, just in my head. And um, so I got up, went ahead, and went to the bathroom and lay back down. And all of a sudden, the noise stopped. And I lay back down, trying to go back into another deep sleep. And I start hearing more noises up there. So when my eyes were closed, the whole time, family, yes, that's why your sister is human. I'm human just like many of you. Even though I try to inspire many of you to, you know, watch your thoughts, watch the words come out of your mouth. You know, I have my moments as well to where I have to check myself. But last night, I wasn't checking myself. I was in my feelings, okay? So anyway, I was lying down. And uh, all of a sudden, I start hearing that noise again. I'm like... Mm. You know, and then all of a sudden, you know, the whole time my eyes closed, you know, I, I was getting just madder and madder and getting pissed off and pissed off. Instead of me praying about the situation, I didn't do it. I, I, didn't, I didn't take none of those positive steps that I know I should have. I, I went, let me just say, I went to the left instead of to the right. I'm just laying there, all of a sudden, I'm thinking, I'm thinking real negative, you know, I'm thinking real negative, you know, and my thoughts were just racing, you know, I was like, ooh, you know. Mm, if, I, if I can just, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, if I can just do this, do that, you know, just, just shut them up. And I mean, I was actually thinking like this, you know. And many of you know, like I know, you know, uh, they wasn't very nice thoughts. And I'm not going to tell you what those thoughts were, all right. But you keep them going with this. I mean, I, I wanted that noise to stop because I wanted to get back and, and, and get a good night, you know, sleep with uh, peace and quiet, shall I say. You know, I wanted peace and quiet. But anyway, so I would just sit up there, just, you know, my eyes closed, and all of a sudden I started visualizing my neighbors, and I was visualizing certain things, you know, that I should not have been visualizing, that I should have not have been visualizing, but I was, I was in my feelings, and I wasn't thinking as logical as I should have. Um, but anyway, I was visualizing, you know, um, getting in confrontation with them and I mean just crazy stuff family family normally think I wouldn't normally even think you know because I, I try to watch my thoughts a lot of time a lot of these thoughts are not my thoughts a lot of time thoughts come from the outside you know and outside of us and if we catch in the time we say oh, oh I don't I don't agree with these thoughts you know I tell many of you you know if you know that those are not your thoughts you stop it in this tracks and say oh I don't agree with these thoughts you know these thoughts are not my, my thoughts I denounce them I send them back to the sender but during that time I wasn't thinking like that I was not thinking like that. I was still half asleep, trying to go back to sleep. And I was just in my, and I was just in my feelings. I was just imagining, you know, uh, just creating a scene in my head to shut them up. I'm, and I'm gonna tell you what, what that was, that between me and the Most High God. And when I realized what I was doing, I said, oh, I'm wrong. I said, I'm wrong. I said, and then once, and then I, I, I stopped, I said, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I said, I said to myself, I denounce these thoughts. I do not agree with these thoughts. These are not my thoughts. And I sent it back to the sender. Now, for one thing, I didn't repent. Okay? And many of you know what I mean by that. Some of you might not be into that. But I am. But at that time, like I said, I was in my feelings. And I wasn't thinking like that. So anyway, I did not repent. But I did acknowledge my wrongdoing. And I said, oh, I'm wrong. I said, uh, these are not my thoughts. But see, I didn't realize I was entertaining those thoughts. You know, it's one thing to say, oh, I'm wrong and, you know, uh, these are not my thoughts. But I was entertaining those thoughts. You know, it's one thing for those thoughts to hit you and you stop it in its tracks and you say, oh, these are not my thoughts. I don't agree with them. I sent them back to the sender. But at that time, even though I knew I was wrong, I would entertain those thoughts because I was so pissed off because I felt like, you know, there was disrespect in their neighbors below them, which was us, and I wanted them to shut up, you know, I wanted that noise to stop, you know, but anyway, um, so that's that, but I didn't repent at the time, I just went ahead and acknowledged that I was wrong, and I said I didn't agree with those thoughts, and I denounced those thoughts, so I went ahead, I went ahead and found those, no the noise, you know, stopped, and I finally, you know, you know, get into a good old 
good sleep. You know, I was, I was getting, I was going to a real, real deep, deep, good sleep. And then all of a sudden, I felt this energy hit my body. I felt this energy hit my body. And I'm very aware of this energy. Many of you know, even though a lot of you probably don't believe your sister, but that's okay. These are my experiences, my testimony, all right? I'm only speaking my truth. Uh, I've had experiences in the past of, of being taken before, all right? My, my ETs. A lot of my experiences, I may not remember them to where I can explain to you exactly what all I have experienced. Because a lot of times when they send you back, you know, you uh, a lot of your memory is white clean and you might remember bits and pieces but you can't really unless you unless I go and have uh you know therapy done you know uh regression done you know I can speak on my experiences with clarity and explain to you what what had happened to me from detail to detail but anyway but I remember that I, but I know this feeling when I when I feel it you know when they're beaming down trying to come for me I know that feeling it's a, it's, a, it's a certain tingly feeling and it hits your body and this energy hits you from outside of you just like a kundalini will hit you from outside of you but it's totally different the kundalini pretty much you know that's pretty much um you know uh, directed towards your back this energy is directed towards your whole body and it, sometimes it feels like needles like 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 uh, it just feel like energy you you feel the energy but it's very electrical and at times if if you're fighting it it feels like a, a p needles that's the only way i can describe it and let me say this real quick let me say this real quick and then i'm gonna get to the point okay but even even last night um after I had denounced those thoughts, right, I started eventually, before I went to my deep sleep, I started eventually hearing this humming sound, all right? And I didn't think too much of it. You know, I'm like, hmm. I said, hmm. You know, I know, I know what that is. But I said, no, that's, that's, not, that's not what it is. You know, always trying to just, you know, um, you're second guessing yourself. I said, no, I, I know that's not what it is. You know, uh, I know who they ain't out there, you know, or whoever they is, whether it be benevolent ETs or they're not so benevolent ETs. I said, I know good well, you know, they ain't out there because when I hear that sound, they let me know they're all around, all right? Or they're above my home, you know, they're somewhere close because I'm picking up on that uh, energy, all right, coming from their ship, their propulsion sound. So I'm lying there and uh, I'm just, you know, like I said, you know, just trying to explain that way. Oh no, I know that's I know that's not what it, what it was. And then I started hearing like a high pitched frequency sound in my ear. It lasted for a couple of seconds, then it went away. And I said, okay, okay. I didn't think too much of it. So I went ahead and went to sleep. Now getting back to this again. So once I got rested, what woke me up, I started feeling this energy. It's just it was trying to wrap itself around my body and it, it's very paralyzed. It will paralyze you. Um my third eye, for some reason, I don't know how it works, but when I'm feeling some type of trauma, as though, for instance, because um, I've had bad experiences before, being taken due to graves, all right, due to operating on the lower frequency and dealing with graves, I immediately, my mind immediately went to, oh boy, I don't attract the graves to me. And due to me, you know, thinking ugly, you know, which lower, which lower my vibrational frequency. Uh, so I, I, I immediately went to, went into a defense mode. You know what I mean? And I was trying to fight this energy off. And um, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I said. I said, no, no, no. I said, leave me alone. In, in the name of Jesus, I, I said that. And even though I never used the word Yeshua um, that much, I. I, I, that was one time last night I said I'm going to exercise this word Yeshua more this time, you know, because a lot of people saying, oh, that word Jesus, you know, even though I don't go back, I don't, even though I don't go back what people say, because my spirits are my spirits with that name, and I know how effective that name is, but I still, this time around, I wanted to use the word Yeshua this time more, so I said, leave me alone, leave me alone, I said, in Jesus' name, leave me alone, I said the first time, and, and the more I said, and when I said that, that grip got real tight on me, and I said, in the name of Christ Jesus Yeshua. I said, leave me alone, leave me alone. And it seemed like it still wasn't working, right? I said, oh my goodness. I said, oh my goodness. I said, and I said, in Yeshua, I said, I said, in the name of Yeshua, leave me alone. I said about two or three times. And, the, and, and, and they were still holding on, you know. I was like, oh my God. I said, in the name of Jesus, Christ Jesus, leave me alone. I said, Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus, leave me alone. And all of a sudden, they grew lesson and they let me go. 
I sit there, family, you just don't know when something like this happened. It drains your energy because they're tugging at your energy field. They're trying to pull you up. They're tugging at your energy field and you feel so weak, so tired afterwards. Ooh, don't nobody know unless somebody had experienced, experienced this before. It, it really drains you spiritually. I mean, just your energy, period. You be so tired afterwards because you're trying to fight it and your inner man is trying to fight for you. Um, I could, and, and when I said the word Jesus, I couldn't get it out out verbally. I was saying it's all inside of my head. You know, it's like my it's like my inner man just took over, and I was I was saying this inside of myself. You know, um, but anyway, so I was um, they, they let me go, and then they hit me the second time. It, it's like it's like they were waiting for me to get relaxed and forget all about it. Cause they always come in sometimes at two. You know when they do it, they hit me again the second time with that force, and this force is even stronger. It feels like you're paralyzed in your body and you can't move. That's what it feels like. It feels like you in your body and you're trapped in your body. You can't move, but what you can do on the inside, you can, you know, um, consciously speak inside your head. Always remember that. Consciously inside your head, you can still um, call on that name. Whether you want to say Christ Jesus, yes, you Whatever name y'all want to use, use it if it works for you. I know it works for me, okay? So anyway, uh, it, they hit me the second time. And I said, oh, my God, because this was stronger than the first time when it, when that uh, energy hit me. And I said, oh, my goodness. So all of a sudden, the second time, my third eye had opened. And I was so glad cause I couldn't even open my eyes up. All of a sudden, I was able to see through my third eye, and my third eye opened, I was seeing all these little tiny beings around me, and one of them was sitting by the bed, um, cause I, I was laying down on my right side, and one was sitting right here in front of me, and his back was turned. I thought his leg was dangling down, but I couldn't see them that good. I thought they were graves, but couldn't find out they weren't graves. My higher self let me know. They sort of remind you of graves, but they're not graves. I don't know the name of these beings, but they're small and tiny. These graves are, are short, too. Graves remind you of children. I'm about what? I'm about five. I know, fam. I don't know. I'm about what? Five, two, five, three. I'm short, but I'm, I'm, I'm taller than the graves. I'm told them the grades. These beings were smaller than them. They they little they little tiny pests. That's what I call them, little bastards. That's what I call them, the tiny pest bastards. Uh, that shows up. I don't know. I don't know their name or anything, but they showed up. But they are low vibrational. Uh, they operate on the lower dimensions as well. All I know is they were coming for me last night, and uh, probably the, the spearmen like the, like the rest of them do. But that energy was so strong that hit me. I was like, Lord have mercy, Jesus. So I had to yell, Jesus, again. And when I did, they grew up, it took me about a good two times. I, I, I probably said about two times. They grew up less and all of a sudden, it stopped. They were still in my room because my third eye, my, my third eye kicked in. I saw them in my room and one of them was, was, was sitting right there by my bed. And I don't know what it was waiting on. It was just sitting there. And my, my third eye kicked in, I saw it. All of a sudden, I felt my essence rise up as though I was in the astral plane. And I swung at it. I felt my essence. I did like this. I did like this. I swung at it, and they heard me jump off my bed because they're very fragile. And I, and I, I see why they paralyze people because people can really mess them up. We can really mess them up because they're tiny. Their body is real fragile. I agree. I ain't gonna lie, family, and forgive me. You know, I don't do a whole lot of cursing, but I was gonna beat the shit out of that thing. I really was. Cause my essence rose up out of out of my body. I rose up. And I was I was getting ready to attack that thing. I really was. But anyway, it jumped up and it, it jumped up and went that way. You know, it, it like jumped up and it went this way. And I saw another in my room. And all of a sudden I blanked out. I don't know, I don't remember anything. But I know let me see. I do remember the the one one had jumped up that was in front of me and it went this way and then there was one st standing there looking straight at me and it was tiny and I remember doing something like this that I do remember I remember doing something like this and when I did it I don't know what it is I'm still learning but we have power family all I know is my spiritual man was fighting I did like this and that thing. Whatever came out of my hand, I don't know, but it, it seemed like the ET did like this. 
and it, 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 it flew back and I, and from there I went blank I went blank so that's all I that's all I wanted to share with many of you um, that experience was crazy as I don't know what but the main reason I'm sharing just because uh, I'm coming because okay I gotta end this video but the main reason I'm sharing this because a lot of you know I'm always talking about protect your energy and I'm always giving you tips on you know how um, you are to think positive even speak positive because that's what shape our reality and when you do that it also increase your vibration but your sister was not um, let me say taking her own advice shall I say I, I was giving out good advice but I wasn't taking my own advice uh, all I had to do but all I had to do really last night was just uh, even a situation that bothered me so bad was um, think more positive and um, just speak peace. Just speak peace, you know. And I know ways of doing that to get the results, but I wasn't thinking like that. At that moment, I was in my feelings, and I wanted them to shut the hell up, to be honest with you. I wanted that noise to cease last night. So anyway, with me saying that, I was in the wrong. Uh, even after that second incident, I took the time. Mommy coming. Of the battery, it works. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Check it. But anyway, real quick, um, I just want to say that the second time it happened, I some said within myself, go ahead and repent. I went ahead, and repent, and I asked the Most High God to forgive me because, for one thing, those were the ugly thoughts that I was having towards my neighbors, and uh, you know, when it comes to our neighbors, you know, even in the word, you know, we have to love our neighbors. As though we love ourselves, you know, love your enemies and all of that, but or at least pray for one another. And um, I wasn't like doing that as a child of light, you know, I was operating really in the darkness on their level, and that's why I was so easily being attacked, you know, um, by energy protective energy field. Um, it was lowered because I was operating on a low vibration at that time, and that's what they went on anyway. They went for you to um, act up. And be on their level so they can attack you, okay, family? And when that happened, these devices are still not gonna work for you, okay? I see that right now because I was attacked last night and I and I sleep with this. I sleep with this right here on. I sleep with this on. And hello, you see I got my other my other um my Shane Dyke and my uh, on the end, my other um magnet beads on, and I was still attacked. But I did it to myself. That's the point I'm trying to make. But my the way I look at it is when we, when we repent, mommy, that's giving. Ready. Okay, mommy coming. When we repent, okay, that's giving honor to the Most High God. That we're honoring Him, and we we let it be known that we are wrong. And like I said last night, I didn't repent at all. Um, I was just I I would have acknowledged that I was wrong, but I was still entertaining those thoughts because I went from thinking negative to visualizing um ugly ugly thoughts, shall I say, uh, towards my neighbors. And I was wrong. As you see, I'm human too. I'm a work in progress, but I'm getting there, family. The main thing is, the way I look at it is, maturity is owning your shit. Owning when you're wrong. And I I, I owned it, I was wrong. And uh, cause I don't want I don't want nothing that come to coming to me, but it can come to me. I can bring it to me, okay? When when I do uh, things that I know I shouldn't do, you know what I mean? And that's thinking negative towards people, you know, cause they ain't, they ain't did nothing to me, you know. But I was all of my little feelings. I, you know, at that time I felt cranky. I wanted to go back to sleep. I wanted peace, but I still should have been thinking and do those necessary steps that I know that can work by by doing it in a more positive way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, don't go negative, because you go negative, you know, you, you let stuff in, all right? We, we let stuff in, you know, especially those who are real sensitive, you know, to the spirit realm, you let stuff in, you're inviting it in, you know, you can't blame anybody, nobody but yourself, and I don't blame nobody, I don't even blame my neighbors, I blame myself. You know, um, I could have easily, you know, handled that situation better than I than the way I did. You know, I could have, you know, thought positive or visualized peace. You know what I mean? Cause it, it, it does work. It, it it has worked before in the past with a different neighbor, of course. But anyway, I just want to share this with many of you. Um, but other than that, family, let me just say this: your sister sleeps peaceful. Uh, my drink. I mean, I, I have like sweet sleep at night, and I get the. The, the honor to the Most High God for that. 
other than that i haven't been having any issue going on with me but i just want to let you know why i had an experience a not so good experience last night because i caused it on myself and that's thinking negative that's why i try to tell many of you when you feel it coming on you denounce it don't entertain it don't go from thought to visualizing it because you're entertaining it okay you have those thoughts stop it in its tracks say i'm wrong or however you want to say it but own it say i'm wrong these are not my thoughts but actually actually if those thoughts hit, hits you and you know that that's your thoughts stop it in its tracks say no 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 i don't agree with it these are not my thoughts i denounce them i send them back that's what you say if you know those thoughts are not yours but if you have these thoughts and you haven't started visualizing it yet as far as somebody pissing you off and, and you're thinking negative thoughts but you haven't stopped visualizing it yet stop it in its tracks and say no 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 i'm wrong I denounce these thoughts, they are wrong, and I'll also suggest you repent, all right, because I didn't do it. I owned it, I owned it, and I said I was wrong, and I denounced it, yes I did, but, you know, it's like, what, you say, for me to say, oh, I sent it back, send it back to what, back to myself, I should have just repented, and then left it at that, but I didn't do that last night, but I ended up doing it anyway. Uh, just only, not only that I was wrong, but in the most high God know that, you know, um, this was wrong. And I, I'm not going to go that route no more because you hurt nobody but yourself. You hurt nobody but yourself. And as you, you see what I have, I went through. And I tell you, that second time, I was so tired, family. I was so tired because when you, when you go through dealing with these advanced ETs and they coming for you and they, they hit you with their energy, it's, it's enough that they paralyze you and you're trying to fight the good fight of getting of getting them off of you. But you're so tired. You're so drained because they're pulling at your energy. They're pulling at your life force. And you're so tired. Do they bring you back? Yes, they do. But they do the unthinkable. And a lot of it, some of it you will remember and some of it you won't remember because they have a way of swiping, swiping your memory. You know what I mean? But I just wanted to share this with many of you um, because, you know, um, this type of ain't popular, but I'm speaking about it because I know it can help somebody. Watch your thoughts, all right? If you have issues with your brothers and sisters, pray for them. Because that's what I'm going to do next time. I'm not going to be thinking negative towards nobody because I'm too sensitive. And nobody's going to be hurt by it but me, all right? Um, denounce those thoughts and um, Counsel those, not counsel those, those thoughts, but denounce those thoughts when they hit you, all right? And definitely try not to be entertaining them by visualizing what you're going to do to somebody. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because what happened to me might not happen to you, but you're going to get it back. You're going to get it back eventually in some kind of way because karma's a bitch, all right? But with me, you know, these are one of the ways I get it back. You know, I got to deal with these low vibrational beings, you know, that can't wait for me to act up, you know, so they can come for me and do whatever it is that, that they do, but... Thanks be to the Most High God, you know, that name, Christ Jesus, I tell you, when you call on him, he's faithful, and he's always on time. So, um, I love y'all in Christ. Thank you for checking your sister out, and remember, watch your thoughts, and definitely watch the words that comes out of your mouth. You have an issue with a person? Lord have mercy, just pray about it. Pray about it, and, you know, visualize, visualize the situation being handled in a positive manner, all right? If you want peace, visualize peace. But don't think negative towards your neighbors and towards people. You're not even towards me because uh, it, 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 it ain't going to bounce my way. It's going to come back your way because you know me. I, den I denounce and I send it back. So that's all I got to say. Peace and love to you all. And um, that's all I got to say. Bye.